Good afternoon, good evening, possibly the good morning, depending on when you're watching this. So my name is Karalia. I have been practicing yoga since the 90s, for real. Um, started teaching in 2006. And today I want to talk about and demonstrate, invite you to do some lion's breath with me. Uh, I spoke about it on a video a couple of weeks ago and someone's like, what's lion's breath? I'm like, oh, okay, right. So lion's breath is a specific yogic technique. Now I am going to speak about it from my own direct experience. Yes, I have learned it in classes with teachers many, many moons ago. Uh, I'm not so concerned necessarily about the traditional way of approaching or working with lion's breath. What I'm more interested in is how to use it in a beneficial way to work with what is happening with us now, physically, mentally, emotionally, and energetically. So I'm speaking from the ex perspective of direct experience, right? Which is how I like to roll as a teacher. I don't teach things that I've intellectually learned. I teach things that I have experientially gone through and understand from working with them for a long period of time. Okay, so uh, it's often called lion's breath because usually traditionally it's done in lion's pose. I don't know lion's pose that well, so I'm not even going to go there in terms of teaching you lion's pose because I don't have a lot of direct experience with that as a posture. Uh, I do have a lot of experience with lion's breath because I have found that um, it spontaneously happens for me a lot and I also consciously do it a lot. Uh, for different various energetic, mental, emotional, and physical reasons. That's what I want to go into. But let's first start by going, what the hell is she talking about, this lion's breath thing? So, <clears throat> um, I'm, just sitting, I'm just sitting on a chair right here. So my feet are flat, right? My hands are on my knees, shoulders are relaxed and down. I'm going to do a couple of rounds of lion's breath from this position. So I, most of you, some of you will be watching this seated at a chair, maybe you're at a desk, right? maybe you're sitting on a couch or something. If you want to do it with me, I invite you to place your feet directly underneath your knees so that your shins are parallel to the ground. Uh, knees are hip width apart, hands are just on the knees, shoulders are back and down. Now as you inhale, you're going to inhale through your nostrils, you're going to exhale through the mouth. And as you inhale, this is a critical piece, right? I want you to inhale all the way down into your lower belly, as low as you can go with your breath. Now, of course, you know, the lungs are here, so you're not actually inhaling down into the low belly because the lungs don't go that far. However, the diaphragm itself does descend down as you take a nice full breath and energetically, your attention, your awareness, presence, however you frame it, can go all the way down. There can be a felt sense energetically of coming into the low belly. And that's really important to set up the potency and the power of lion's breath because when we exhale, we are going to exhale from the low belly and all the way up, right? Tongue will go out and the breath is like, okay? So it looks like this, inhaling into the low belly. And when I inhale, the belly expands, right? So I'm loosening, softening, expanding the belly on the inhale. And then on the exhale, the tongue sticks out quite far. The belly comes right in against the spine. And it's like I am squeezing all the things up and out. It's like a purging, right? And I've heard it said that we're toning the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve runs right through the front body. I don't know if that's true or not necessarily. What I do know is that this particularly particular breath definitely has an impact on the vagus nerve. Now I'm not great on um, anatomy, etc. I don't know the scientific stuff, so I can't tell you exactly what it's doing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All I'm going to say is, from my direct experience of doing it all the time. It feels incredibly beneficial and will often move me out of anxiety, move me out of fear, and move me into relaxation and ease. So let's do a couple more rounds, right? Hands on the knees, inhale into the low belly. So I'm rounding the body a little bit in this particular posture and squeezing everything out. Tongue is coming all the way down, and I'm really working all of this area. 
and opening up right through the back of the throat. It's like a silent scream in some way, shape or form. Let's try it again. Inhale. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple more postures that you can do it in, which is beneficial. So I'm just standing up, moving this out of the way. If we come into, this is one of my favorite ways to do it, is to come into a squat pose. Okay. Now, this is different with the spine. So in the one we just did, actually, I'm not even going to talk about how we did it then. Let's just focus on how we're doing it here. So if I'm in a squat, all right, I'm going to take this off so you guys can see my spine, alignment of the spine a little better. Now, if I'm in a squat, see how I've got a slight back bend here? Okay. And then as I inhale, I'm going to round my whole body on the inhale. And again, I'm inhaling all the way down to the lower belly. And then as I exhale, I'm going to lift the tailbone. I'm going to lift the shoulders, the chest, and do it that way, right? Which is the opposite to what we're doing when we're seated before. Okay. So let's do a few rounds of this. So inhale, round. Exhale, lion's breath. A couple more times. Okay, so a couple of pointers here. When I inhale, I feel as if I am like sucking up energy from into the inside, like into the core of my belly. Like I'm drawing in energy. I'm drawing in power from the earth. So it's like this, right? So I'm really, it's like I'm inhaling through the soles of my feet. I'm inhaling through my legs. I'm inhaling up into my pelvis. I'm inhaling through here and I'm inhaling all the way down there. So there's these simultaneous inhales happening through everything. And then as I'm exhaling, so I'll do the inhale first. Do you like my non-professional setup as I'm just here in my bedroom? <laughs> Doesn't really matter, right? You get the essence. Okay, so here we go. Inhale. See how I'm just like, and this is about power, right? This is you activating power, activating power. So bring in all the power. And then as you exhale, it's like all the exhale is like you're sending power out in that direction. Here we go. Oh, too much here. It's hard for you guys to see. Let's try it again. Oosh, that feels so good. All right, so let's just talk a little bit about lion's pose why it's useful, when to use it, and the different focuses that you can bring to it, okay? So, physically, one of the things that we're doing here is really connecting and enlivening the whole torso, because you're bringing that breath all the way down into your pelvis, into the low belly, right? You can even visualize, sense, imagine that you're inhaling into your genitals if you want, and then you're exhaling, so you're creating this strong interconnected line of energy all the way up okay so there's things happening physically again i'm not so great on anatomy but because of what's happening through here it's really helping to relax it and this whole area through here is where we often hold all kinds of tension mental tension right gripping the teeth clenching our teeth clenching our jawline so doing lion's breath if you notice that you are clenching your teeth that you're clenching your jaw do a few rounds of lion's breath and that will help to soften and relax through this area which is incredibly beneficial okay i'm just going to put this back on because it's not that warm here springtime in canada all right as I said, it's interacting with the vagus nerve. There's stuff happening with the vagus nerve. Um, some of you who know more about anatomy than I do may know more about what is going on with that. I tend to focus on how does it feel in the moment? Does it work? Does it does it work for what's happening for me? And as because I've got like awakened kundalini, you could say there's a lot of spontaneous things that come through. And the thing about doing lion's breath is it's a really beneficial way to move energy in the energetic body and in the mental and emotional body. Concrete example, 
if you have experienced any kind of uh, attack or assault or abuse where it didn't feel safe for you to say no fuck off get the fuck away from me right that impulse to say the thing may have been there but you 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 swallowed it right out of it was safer for you to not do that okay now if you do lion's breath repeatedly that impulse to say something particularly if you've been in like an abusive relationship where you are constantly swallowing the urge to say something because it's not safe that's all stuck in your energetic mental emotional body so you start to do lion's breath it's like you are starting to express energetically even though you're not necessarily using words but you're starting to have that movement of expression for all the things that you have swallowed up and never said your entire life Right? It clears it all out. And, and you may find if you were to do a daily practice of lion's breath, like three rounds, 12 rounds, throw on your favorite song, do it for a while in the song, that you feel more comfortable about speaking up and about saying what needs to be said, right? From a yogic perspective, impressions, samskaras, right samskaras are impressions from the past that are stored in our body there's a whole lot of samskara theory around this look up the work of christopher wallace he goes in depth into it he's really amazing on it right so when we're working with lion's breath we are starting to loosen up dissolve and even digest old impressions of things that are stuck in our system and the example i just gave you of attack abuse assault etc that's just one example there's probably so many other times in your life when you did not say the thing you wanted to say. And so this is starting to clear the channel, open the channel. And that's an example of it happening spontaneously, right? As I'm just feeling into things. And so that happens to me see me often you know particularly if I'm on a dance floor if I'm doing yoga if I'm doing embodiment practices lion's breath will happen spontaneously and I often get a sense it's because I am digesting things in my mental emotional and or energetic body and there's a final kind of purge of whatever it is that I am digesting um, okay so just feeling into what else might be useful for you to understand or realize about lion's breath What I suggest is be really curious, uh, practice, do it a few times a day. And when you're practicing, the trick is to get very curious and notice how it feels in your physical body, in your mental, emotional body, and in your energetic body. Okay, so we, but from the level of physicality, when we're in sort of the more gross, we go to men mental, emotional, we're slightly more subtle. And then the energetic is more subtle than that even. So if you can be aware and notice the impact, just be really curious and almost, it's almost as if I've developed a relationship with lion's breath where I have a sense of when it might be beneficial for my system, right? So do it as a daily practice. If you're not familiar with it, you don't know it at all, I would suggest do it every single day for 40 days and just notice how it feels. Um, you might notice that you're feeling quite anxious about something, like let's say you're applying for a job and you feel a bit anxious and you've got a job interview to go to in an hour or so. Really feel into, allow yourself to feel the anxiety and do a few rounds of lion's breath and just get curious, like almost as if you're a scientist and this is the laboratory, your body. Do a few rounds and see how does it impact the anxiety? Does it ease it or does it make it more intense? If it makes it more intense, is it more beneficial to do a few more rounds and see what happens? Or is it more beneficial to ease off, right? Um, I'm really big on taking a practice, working with it consistently and collecting the data to see how it impacts you, when it is useful, when it is not useful, right? Um, okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. If you have any questions about lion's breath, just leave them down below. 
uh, got any questions about the work I do as a teacher, etc., just leave them down below. And sending so many blessings to you all.